Breaking news. A gunman who opened fire at the NFL's New York City headquarters, in fact, had CTE. Medical examiners found the brain disease during the shooter's autopsy. On September 26, 2025, the New York medical examiner has now confirmed that Shane Tamora's brain had unambiguous diagnostic evidence of low-stage CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And this was developed after only playing high school football, as I predicted. Shane Tamora is the New York shooter who on July 28, 2025, drove nonstop from Las Vegas to Midtown New York and shot and eliminated four people before ending his own life. Tamora claimed in a handwritten note that he suffered from CTE and that his brain should be studied. Watch my long form video uploaded on August 6, 2025 on my first episode of One on One with Dr. Snow. And this was entitled, How CTE Turns Dreams into Nightmares, New York Shooter Had CTE. So far this video has 269,000 views. Here's the first 22 seconds of this video where I predicted that Shane Tamora had CTE after only playing high school football. I predict now that his brain at autopsy will be found to be filled with neurofibrillary tangles. These are the twisting paratelical filaments that accumulate in neurons in the cerebral sulci of the brain. Following repeated blows to the head, that he probably acquired after just playing high school football. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, is caused by repetitive blows to the head, usually sub-concussions. These blows cause the accumulation of neurofibrillary tangles consisting of twisting paratelical filaments and straight filaments in the brain. In CTE, the tangles are located in the grooves of the brain, known as the sulci, which is basically on the surface of the brain. The major protein found in both CTE and Alzheimer's disease is the tau protein, a normal functioning microtubule associated protein that gets twisted and forms a predominant insoluble beta sheet secondary structure following some sort of trauma and inflammation. Alzheimer's disease also has neurofibrillary tangles, but these are primarily located in the hippocampus and the cortex of the brain. Having tangles in the sulci of the brain has been demonstrated to lead to emotional outbursts, irrational behavior, end-of-life thoughts, and behavior that cannot be predicted. After only playing high school football, Shane Tamora was definitely showing irrational behavior to the outside world, and he knew it. He even had a note in his pocket on July 26, 2025, stating that he believed he had CTE and that they should study his brain following his end of life, which he did himself. Notice the NFL is very quiet about the CTE case because it occurred many years after Shane Tamora stopped playing only high school football. This means that football players and athletes in other sports prone to head injury should be very cautious in how they participate in the sport. New helmets used in various sports for protection, including football due to head impact, will be very important for athletes in football and other sports to move forward and be wary of developing CTE in their sport later on in life. My prediction was right once again, as I have studied CTE for now for over 20 years. Who knew? I knew. This is Dr. Alan Snow, and this has been the second episode of One on One with Dr. Snow. Thanks for watching.